guys it's taylor welcome back to my channel i don't know why my hands are all the way up here but <laughs> brave <laughs> video we went ahead and did a get ready with me full disclosure we did not do the eyes on camera but if you guys are interested in the like a full tutorial on the eyes just let me know i can definitely run that back for you guys um i had a friend call me so we was just trying to key, key catch up and the video was getting a little too lengthy anyway so anyway uh yeah so we went ahead and talked about our taping experience we talked about old youtube and just how we you know we missed the beauty day well i missed the beauty days the old girls like who get it get it and if you're new here that's cool too like you don't have to like makeup but i just wanted to just make my channel more reflective of who i am as a person and i realized like i had the vlogs and everything but at the end of the day like beauty is really what got me onto youtube in the first place um so i just wanted to tap back into that and so yeah i hope you guys learned something new we use some new products um some new products some old products that we kind of repurchased and fell back in love with so yeah if you want to see how i got the at least the face makeup and some of the products that i use um just stay tuned and we'll go ahead and jump right in okay so i went ahead and did my eyebrows on my lips i have a lip mask i'm use i use the laneige sleeping lip mask um in the scent vanilla I like to use that product on both myself and when I'm doing my makeup clients. It just really just helps get the lips ready and moisturized and plump for, you know, for later on in the makeup process. I've already done my brows, like I said, and then I also put a primer on. Um, as you can see from the title, we're going to be using some new makeup. And by new, some of it is like new, new. Like I got some, what is this? The, I don't know if it's REM Beauty or REM Beauty um, by Ariana Grande. I went ahead and picked up their new concealer. Um, it just came out. I was excited about it because it comes in this little in this little container. So, oh my God, you guys, I haven't done this in so long that I'm literally talking over myself. Like I can't even. Hopefully, this lighting looks good. I am just child. You guys, I have not like done like a beauty tutorial. Or, like sat down and like done this in so long i'm so used to doing vlogs and <laughs> it's crazy because let's just jump right into the um into the makeup tutorial like and we can talk while we do it um like i said it's gonna be some repurchases like i repurchased the fenty beauty uh pro filter soft matte liquid foundation this is a fan fave there's a video like when i was first trying to like get back into youtube and like start my actual channel like really like start with consistency this is one of the first videos um i filmed when this like first came out a few years ago and it's just so freaking crazy um to be here now thinking about when i filmed that i don't know i don't know it's just weird um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put this on so let me just pump this on my face i'm sure there's like a better way of doing it but <gasps> look for me i'm this face honey that's how we get stuff done over here pool and you know because then you can like wipe it down because you know how it gets all dirty right there i don't know why you want to do that but yeah it's so crazy that that was like the one of the first videos i filmed and then now i'm like jumping back into it can we talk about how like i was literally talking to my friend chi chi hey chi chi girl um she does youtube as well but we were just talking about how beauty youtube is like dead and gone well it's not gone because we're gonna bring it back <laughs> But it's just like so gone. Like all the girls I used to watch back in my youth, honey, uh, the Jackie Inas, the Nicole Guerreros, Michelle Fawn, don't ever get it twisted on who's the mother. Michelle Fawn was like the first YouTuber I ever watched. I know it doesn't look my shit, you guys, but I promise it is. <laughs> Michelle Fawn was like the first makeup makeup influencer makeup guru whatever you want to call her that i watched when i first started like watching youtube when i first got on youtube like not like me posting videos but when i first started like using youtube it was mostly for youtube like not youtube videos for music videos and i didn't even know about the beauty youtube until later on 
I would just, you know, come on here, watch my music video and go about my business. And then I don't know when, how, or anything like that. But I remember when I first stumbled upon Michelle Fawn and I believe she was like still in school and stuff. And I was just like, whoa, like what is she doing? And she was the person who initially like taught me how to do my makeup, like where things should go and how to use like different brushes and stuff like that. Like I remember when beauty YouTube was like really popping and all the girls would be using like Benefit, um, what is it? Benefit the Hula bronzer and that uh, Maybelline Age Rewind. The girls would get it, get it. Y'all remember when it was like, <laughs> everybody had that. The Maybelline baby skin, like. <laughs> It's just so crazy to think about. Unfortunately for us brown skin girls, we couldn't even try this stuff. We were literally just watching everybody else. Do sick Andy. Oh my gosh, it was so many girls. Candy Johnson, like it, it, Jackie Ina. I remember like I first started watching her when she was in the military. And her, her, her name wasn't even the same. Wasn't even the same like as it is now. It wasn't no Jackie Ina. It was like, what? I don't even remember what it's called. Um, and then like London girls, Patricia Bright, um, what was the girl, Shirley and her sister? Come on, y'all remember Zoella? Like nobody, nobody gets it. Like the girls who get it, the girls who were on there watching like from the beginning, y'all. Was it not the best time? I feel like it was just the best time. And I always had such, like I was like a YouTube girl. Judy is Judy. Oh, girl, you girl, please don't even start with me right now, cause I used to be. I used to watch YouTube like it was TV. Like that's how invested I was, and still am. Like it's just crazy how the beauty is just gone. Like in terms of like the beauty channels and stuff like that. I don't want to say it's gone. It's just not as prevalent and popular as it used to be. And so I was talking to my friend Chi Chi. I'll leave her page page <laughs> i'll leave her channel link down below we were just talking about that and we were like maybe that's because like we're supposed to like bring it back because who are the girls supposed to run to who can run to you know like and i want to be that for you guys not saying that's the only thing i'm gonna do but i need to like get back into what really excited me in the first place and that's always been the makeup like the transformation the whole the whole situation so that's what we're doing today um so this is the foundation done i told y'all was my shade when y'all was trying to y'all was trying to talk junk about me in the beginning <laughs> don't play her <laughs> i really appreciate fenty because they just get it like the color matching they have another shade because they just redid their shades again come on come on period they just redid their shades again and there's another shade this is in the shade 420 there's another shade 425 and i feel like that's gonna be my perfect shade they don't sell it in ulta or sephora i didn't see it in either one and i went to both so period um they didn't go they didn't have it at either one so i'm gonna try it online and i'll let you guys know if that works out better but fortunately for me 420 was like a pretty good shade regardless but i just feel like 425 might really you know give me what i've been looking for so the girls there's nobody like doing the makeup things and i love the makeup things and i'm like okay so let me just get back into my makeup bag and then you know see what happens there's also a lack of products like i remember when products used to be the brands used to be coming up with products like and i will say as an environmentalist type of girl i really care about the environment i don't like waste i'm you know trying to become more of a minimalist and everything like that I appreciate it because I feel like it was just a waste of product, a waste of, you know, like labor. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the stuff wasn't even hitting. It was just coming out just so people could be, you know what I'm saying? So I really want brands to be more environmental conscious, environmentally conscious because we only get one planet Earth. And look, I'm not trying to go live on Pluto. Like, baby, just do the right thing now so we ain't got to go worry about, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? There's not that much new makeup out, but I will say I was excited about this concealer. So this is the REM concealer. Um, let me get the box, hold on. So like I said, this is the, what's this? 
This is the Sweetener Concealer by Rim Beauty. I got it in the shade 10 in W. It says it's infused with Hydra Smooth Essence and it's a soft, it's supposed to get like a soft matte finish. Um, what I was doing research on it, it said it has like hyaluronic acid and um, ashwagandha. Ashwag Ashwag Girl, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe you don't. I'll list it over here, the things that it has in it. Um, and it comes with this little spatula, so cute. Only thing is, y'all know we're gonna lose the spatula. Ari, boo, you know we're gonna lose the spatula. Just a tidbit, maybe we could put like some type of magnetic thing in here so it can like, you know what I'm saying, stick. Cause you know, girl, girl, you're cancer though. So. I know cancers and y'all can't keep up with nothing, okay, so. Look, worry about yourself. Worry about your own sign. <laughs> Before you come for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this much on the back of my head. Um, and then anyway, I'm going to. I've used this before, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I wanted to use it for you guys here. It's thick. It's a very thick consistency. Can y'all see that? You see how it makes that peak? It's very thick. I'm gonna use my ring finger just to warm the products up. But I will say, I really like the coverage that it gave. And I'm gonna just do this eye so you guys can see. Like, it's, it's that girl, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, it was really giving. I'm gonna put this leftover over here. I don't typically like to use my fingers, so I'm literally only doing this because I saw somebody on um, Instagram do it uh, to warm up the product, like I said. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. beauty sponge. So Isla Sarai, which is another YouTuber that I, well, I mean, I still love to watch her, but you know, they're just not posting as many, you know, tutorials and things like that. But she does do a lot of TikToks and reels and stuff like that. Um, she suggested this e.l.f. camo, I mean, not concealer, it's the camo beauty sponge. Um, so I went ahead and tried it out. So this was, this is what this is. I'm just gonna blend this in, it is wet. It's brand new, so we're trying it out together, you guys. Can y'all see that? Tell me that's not the cute. Girl, that is the cutest thing on this planet. Get out of town, look at that. And that's just like, I feel like that's just like concealing and not really giving that brightness, but I would definitely go back and get another shade I'm gonna use a brush because I don't um, down my finger. I just can't. <laughs> um, but I just love that the coverage is really nice. It says medium to deep. I mean, <laughs> medium to deep, medium to full coverage. So I'm gonna put another layer on here to give us what we're looking for. You know. Okay, so this is the second layer blended in, and I really, you guys, I really like this concealer. <laughs> it's concealing. Wowzers. You, you know you can see that. Girl, don't lie to me. Lie to yourself, don't lie to me. Look at this. You know you see that. You see the liftage, the lifterization. I love that, I'm obsessed. Bravo, Ariana, bravo. Did you know her last name's Grandy? Did y'all know that? People just started calling her Grande because I guess they could they didn't know how to pronounce that's you know the spelling or whatever. But I was watching this interview and her last name is Grandy, but she you know said, well that's what people call me, so I don't want to like have to have you know go change it or whatever or like correct people. I'm like, girl, you better tell people your name, Ariana Grandy. Hey, Pooh. Hey, I'm loving your concealer, darling. All right, if you see, this is Robert. Yes, I gave him a name because since he want to be in my business so bad, he clearly want to be seen, so he might go get a name. This is Robert the Pimple. I don't know if you guys can see him from back there, but if you do see him, tell him he is not welcome here, okay? He is a racist, <laughs> he's homophobic, okay? He is all the all the bad things, okay? He don't care about the environment. That's why he, we, we gotta get rid of him, okay? <laughs> He's not welcome here. But he think he can hang out with us. He can't. I'm a 
outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still. We're gonna let this side sit just to see if we can get some more coverage that way. So while this sits, um, honestly, I should have let this side sit a little bit, but it's fine. We're just gonna, you know, do what we gotta do. What we do, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Espresso. This is what we're gonna use to contour. But yeah, I'm gonna get back into my makeup bag. So if there's anything that you guys are, anything that you guys have questions about, or you know, you're just curious on if it works or not like different products and stuff you know just let your girl know and we'll, she'll go out and get it for you you know what i'm saying because we gotta get excited about being back outside we gotta get back into our routines we gotta get back into the beat honey because i mean i understand the um the excitement about like the natural soft glam or you know that everyday makeup well, I'm sorry, like the girls who really like love makeup, we, you know, we get bored with the same old, same old. As a creative, I think that's a part of it too. Like, this is like a creative outlet for people, like doing makeup and stuff like that. And I'll speak for myself. It's a creative outlet for me to just see different things and experience different, you know, techniques and products and stuff and seeing what works and what doesn't. It's literally just trial and error. So to see the same thing over and over, it's a little, I don't wanna say worrisome, but it doesn't bring, you know, I'm like, okay, <laughs> thank you next, okay? Like, we're, like we did that already. <laughs> we're done with her. Yeah. So if there's anything that you guys are looking for, need help with, just let me know. And I will be that for you, you know what I'm saying? I'll look out for you, for the girls, because it's getting boring out here, it's getting scary. Like, we did that. We done that. We doing that right now. Like, what's the next? Ooh. Yeah, y'all. Let that sit for a moment. Let that concealer sit for a hot second just for it to really, like, take it there. Because I don't know if you guys could tell on the camera. Maybe you can't. But this is really, like, concealed. I feel like this one needs, honestly, a little bit more in comparison. So, I'm going to do just a little bit over here and let that hang out i'm also gonna do i'm definitely gonna go back and get a lighter color in the sweetener concealer but until then i'm gonna use the milani conceal and perfect in the shade 135 just because i like a lighter like inner tear duct area but um i really like that concealer good job miss Honestly, she's not even Miss Grandy anymore because my guess is it's Mary. Good job, Pooh. I'm enjoying what you're putting down. I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and just blend this, this contour out. But yeah. If there's anything that you guys want me to try out, just let you all know. With that being said, in regards to trying things out, I don't know if you guys remember. I don't know if you're new here. Hi, I'm Taylor. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, you know. Tap in with your girl. Um, but speaking of trying things, I did the tape-ins, you guys. I got the tape-ins. I'll tag, I'll link the vlog over here, over here. I don't know. I don't know which side it's on. I'm thinking it's over here. So let's just let's just pretend that I get it right. <laughs> but I did the tape-ins and <sighs> they're give okay don't get me wrong they're giving like they're giving they look amazing i love the versatility of them like the fact that you it's kind of like it's like your hair like it's it's like clipping extensions but you don't have to like keep putting them in putting putting them in and taking them out i have clip-in extensions um that I ordered from a brand, The Annihilator. I'm not sure if you guys know her on Instagram, but her brand, Naya Vista, I believe. I got those clip-in extensions, which I still have, and I, they're very good quality. I will say, when I first got them, I was like, uh-uh, this is thin, but they're clip-ins. Like, once you put them in your hair, they definitely, you know, they do what they're supposed to do. So, look, it was just me. <laughs> I was scarred from a previous brand that we won't even talk about, because what? Um, Anyway, I'll tag Naya Vista. I'll tag the clippings that I use down below. 
But yeah, I got the tape ins. They gave me what I needed, but baby girl, it's too expensive. Who? You gotta have the funds. You guys, let me just break it down in terms of cost, okay? Your initial, first of all, a lot of people are now wanting you to do consultations, which I get it, that's fine. Depending on where you go, there's a cost in that within itself, okay? And then on top of that, you are paying for, what is it? So when you, so you go get the consultation and then you go, let's say, you know, they're like, okay, yeah, come back, da, da, da. That's at least $500, depending on where you go. It's gonna run you about $500 because you have to pay for the hair as well as the install. Granted, you know, you're getting your hair done, you know, the wash, the possibly a trim, depending on, you know, what's offered in the service. Um, so you're getting your hair done, straight in, you know, the silk press, one, two, one, two, right? So that's $500, get your stuff, blah, blah, blah. And you know it's gonna be according to the length. The girl that I went to, I was lucky enough to find somebody in Charlotte and you know, you can get whatever length you want. And that was 480 that I paid. Um, Cause I did this for my birthday, cause I'm like, Imperial. <laughs> I did this for my birthday. And I got them, I like them. You have to be mindful of the hair that you get. The hair that she gave me, I won't say it was the best quality hair because it was like, to me, it was thin. Like when you get down to the bottom, it wasn't thick from top to bottom. Um, so it was something that I had to kind of play with. I ended up going back and having her add a few more because I just was not pleased with the, with the way it was looking um, initially. So I had her go back and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, by the way. I did see also in Ulta, I mean, no, this was in Sephora, that they're using talc, they're making, it's the same powder, but it's now talc free, um, which is exciting. Unfortunately, I have this big ass jar, so I won't be buying any for a long periodically time. But that's cute, you know, do better for us. Cause I believe talc is like, look it up girl, look it up. Anyway, so when it came to my clip-ins, I had to go back and get a few more put in because it wasn't thick from top to bottom, um, in my opinion. And so I had her cut layers in it as well as add a few more. And then it was, you know, it, it went, it started to look the way I initially wanted it to. So I was pleased with it when I left. Um, so for the first two weeks, everything's good, everything's Gucci. And then you hit that two, two to three week, two to three week mark, and you're supposed to go get your hair, get the hair like tightened and like, you know, touched up. You guys, that's another two hundred dollars. Yeah, you just paid four eighty, and then two to three weeks later, you're supposed to get it done again. Like, you gotta pay again, and it's not like oh you know, when you get your hair braided, which also is getting crazy because people are charging you $300, $400. And I'm not saying, you know, don't charge your worth, but I'm not saying that people got $400, $300 to go get some, you know, their hair braided when we was just paying 250 Like, especially when y'all taking 19 hours. <laughs> I'm like, girl. And then you want me to buy the hair? I don't know what's going on in this community, but I don't wanna, you know, like I'm a 90s baby. I know what was going on. And I understand charging your worth and everything like that. I'm a makeup artist, I feel you, right? But you gotta be mindful of your audience. You have to be mindful that, yeah, you may be going up in your prices, but your clientele didn't get a raise at work. They still making that $20 an hour, so who? what? Where you want them to get that extra money from? <laughs> and that's besides the point. That ain't even what we hitting on. But for the tapings, yeah, you gotta pay an additional two hundred dollars the next two to three weeks. Excuse me. So with that being said, tapings are you know definitely an investment, and you have to be mindful of the investment that you're making. Like of course they look cute, and all the girls are getting them, and you know, apparently they're better for your hair than the, um, what is it called? The micro links, which is amazing, but it's just like the average person doesn't have $200 to spend every two to three weeks to get their hair, you know, 
touched up. So just be mindful of that. I will also say I watch Aaliyah Face as well as Kyra and they're the girls who actually like put me onto the tape ins because theirs always look so amazing. And I watched a video of Aaliyah's and she was saying how easy the tape in process was in terms of the removal. And how you just, you know, lather your, you know, the tape in with soap and every, not soap. <laughs> lather the tape in. Hold on, y'all. I'm filming, so you gotta, what you gotta do? I gotta go over here. You can't do it over here. Oh, you're talking to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, so yeah, so I watched Aaliyah. Um, for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place uh, bronze, what is this? Bronzer palette in the shade dark. This is what this looks like. Um, so yeah, I watched a YouTube video of Aaliyah taking her hers out. She said all you have to do is just lather it with oil. And so I got some oil and I kind of just lathered the tape in with said oil. And you're supposed to just, you know, be able to massage it and kind of like pull it out. Um, like pull pull the tape ins apart because essentially it's like two pieces. It's like two ta two uh, extensions and they have tape on the ends and then they're like clamped together. Does that make sense? So there's hair on both sides. Honestly, I could show y'all because I still have them, but they're like, girl, girl. No, don't look at them. Yeah, I went ahead and I put, I lathered it with the oil and it did come out, but it wasn't as easy as hers were. And it may have to do with hair texture because I mean, she is biracial. So I'm sure her texture, I mean, you can see her texture is definitely looser than mine. So I'm not sure, you know, if that plays a part in it or just the, the quality of, you know, the tape in and everything like that. Uh. But yeah, I went ahead and did that and I'm not gonna lie, some of my hair came out. I had like a slight bald spot from the tape in because the hair that's inside, in between the tape in, it's not that thick of a piece of hair. So if one, if you like pull that tape in a little, like if you pull that tape in wrong, the wrong way or if you're a little too rough on your hair, it it'll pull it like it'll pull that hair like from the root because that's where you know it's attached to so i did lose a little bit of hair it wasn't anything super major like it wasn't anything like like mind boggling to the point where i would never get them again but i realized that it's something that you really have to have you know a budget for because girl hmm it's a very expensive thing to upkeep so if you're thinking about getting tape ins and you want to try them out by all means try them out i had a blast I would definitely say it's for they're amazing for a special occasion but if you're if that's trying to be like your go-to hairstyle just know that I, I i would say the longest you can go before getting them touched up is like a month and a lot of the hairstylists don't even suggest that it's two to three weeks on a lot of their booking sites so just be mindful of that that you would have to pay whatever the initial price is which i'm sure is going to be about 500 dollars on top of that and then you have to pay the 200 you know every two to two to three weeks i'll say two to four weeks um for the upkeep so you do you but the girls i mean the girls are getting them and they're looking really 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 amazing and i know that that's probably going to be something that people use like in the future because i will say they're super convenient they look cute and if you're trying to give like a vibe and aesthetic then i would highly suggest it but also be mindful that that's not a protective style your hair is definitely out so if your hair textures are different you're going to be blow drying your hair you're going to be straightening your hair you're going to be curling your hair and that's going to be you know that's gonna do some damage on those on that beautiful crown. And yes, you got the tape ins, but when the tape ins come out, is your hair still healthy? Does your hair still have the integrity to, you know, look the way you want it to look? Because I'm not sacrificing my real hair for a hairstyle, if that makes sense. Like I'm not doing that. And so I I don't suggest having tape ins all the time if you're trying to grow your hair out like if you're trying to love on your hair and protect your hair and keep your hair you know really i don't know like you're not it, it can't grow baby it can't grow your hair is out with the tape in like it's like sandwiched in, into that uh extension but that's still heat on your natural hair so if you're like a curly girl if your hair is not heat trained just be mindful of that um that's what i'm saying like i would say i would suggest it as a um 
like a special occasion hairstyle maybe you want to do it for like a couple months out of the summer you know you want to have that look that vibe i would say it's a really good thing like if you want to dye your hair you can like you know for some highlights or something that would be super cute like how kyra has that blonde oh my gosh it looks phenomenal phenomenal so if that's something you want to get um you know tap into then by all means do you pull um but yeah it's not a protective style i i'm very big into protecting your real nails hair skin all that like the makeup is cute but you gotta have a skincare routine the tapings are cute but you gotta be going to a you know a hairstylist i would say at least girl you need to go to a hairstylist at least twice a year i know you may know what you're doing at home but I would just go to get a professional opinion just to make sure that your hair is, you know, well taken care of and it look and it's like it's withstanding the things that you're doing to it or trying to do to it. You know what I'm saying? Like your real hair is more important than the taping and the wig than the so you gotta protect your real hair. It's your crown, baby. It's your crown. Please don't sacrifice your crown I'm trying to look like something that you're not because you can have that in real life if you just take care of your hair, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Just be mindful of that. So that was my little taping experience. I like I said, if you want to get it every now and again, by all means. I, look, my pockets for me and my pockets, I'm good. And I'm the type of person I like different hairstyles. Just I get bored really quickly. So I know for me, unless I'm a millionaire, multi-millionaire, I just mm -mm. unless you got it like that, baby girl, get it like that because they're very cute. But like I said, I just wouldn't suggest it if i just i wouldn't suggest it for all the time anyway you know because your hair is not protected so hmm that's all i'm gonna say about it anyway i'm gonna use the anastasia soft soft glam there was a look that what is it it was a look that this makeup artist recreated of made a stallion so that's what i'm gonna try to do today i'm using the color sienna I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so we're just in this together. Uh, so yeah, I will say I had a grand time, and you know I did have them for my birthday vlog. I'll tag that video as well, and I really like I like I said I really enjoyed them for the time that I had them, but it's just something that I wouldn't suggest for the long term because you know you gotta take care of your real hair and your real nails. That's honestly that's why I'm about to take these acrylics off. Anytime I do acrylic, I'll do them for like. I typically get like a fresh set and then I'll get two fills and then I'll just let my real nail like kind of hang out. Like I'll go get like a gel manicure or an SNS or something just to let my real nail like have a break because you know you don't want to put all that pressure, not pressure, but all that product on your your nail bed all the time. Like the girls who have their like acrylic all the time, I'm like wow. Like, I'm not judging by any means. I'm just saying, like, you're brave. Because, <laughs> like, what's going on under there? You know? Like, that's acrylic. Like, it's seeping into your nail bed. Like, y'all gotta... <laughs> people gotta be mindful. We gotta be mindful. Like, what we're putting into our bodies and on our bodies. Look, as I rub this talc. I'm sure this got talc in it, on it. Child, anyway. That's why I gotta wash it off later. <laughs> um we just have to be more mindful of like what we're putting in our bodies and on our bodies because your body is a temple and you got to take care of it because you only get what the damn okay Is calling me. I'm gonna answer because I don't ever answer a phone call. Hold on, you guys. Hi, Hi. Okay, so we went ahead and finished our eyes off camera. Um, I got this look from. I'll tag the picture right here. Um, it was a look that uh, I, I want to say his name is Chris. It was a look that he did, he recreated from Meg Thee Stallion. So I honestly just used this Anastasia uh, Soft Glam Palette and literally just used the same colors he used. Um, these are Chi Chi Lashes in the style Chi. Again, I'll tag those down below as well. But yeah, so this is the final look. I was talking to Kayla off camera. I don't, 
that's another one of the things like that I'm trying to get better at um is to communicate with my friends like you guys are my friends too <laughs> but like my real life friends I don't do a very good job like I'm not the type of person who really likes to be on the phone I'm a decent texter I'm more like an in-person in person like if you like oh I'm having a thing can you blah 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 I like to show up in that way I don't know like the on the phone and the FaceTime is something that I've had to work on um, in regards to like my friends so I may not call them as much as I I guess should um, but it's definitely like a muscle that I've had to like develop like so like one of my really close friends Michaela you guys have seen her on this channel so many times when I tell you she calls me she calls me and then I had to like I don't know I just don't feel comfortable bothering people I'm like oh what if they're doing something or what if they don't answer my phone call then it's like oh they don't want to talk I get too much in my head and it's definitely like <laughs> maybe some childhood trauma I don't know I gotta work on that I gotta talk to my therapist about it later but I don't know I'm just not the person to really reach out but if you have something going on or you need me at something, I'm I'm there. You know what I'm saying? That's just the type of person I am. But I'm trying to do better because I do want to like, you know, build, kind of feed the relationships that I already have versus, you know, thinking that there's something wrong with them because I have really like beautiful, amazing friends. So I'm just trying to do better at that. I said all that to say, um, I'm, I'm working on myself. <laughs> But so while we were on the phone with her, we went ahead and did our did our eyeballs. If you guys want like a detailed tutorial on this, just let me know. It turned out really cute. I really like it. Um, but going back into makeup, I went ahead and bought I bought two of them. The girls on TikTok have been talking about this for a while now. These are the Juvia's Place brush brushes. These are the Juvia's Place brushes. This is in the volume four. There's six different volumes. This is volume four. It's a beautiful hot pink as well as a baby pink. And this one, this is volume five, which is a beautiful coral color. I feel like I'm gonna try this color right here. It's so funny how, what is that? Can y'all see that right there? It's like something, very much something. A little tidbit that I picked up from makeup by Ariel on, on TikTok is if you set your under eyes with the actual face powder. This is in the this is from one size in the shade medium four golden, and you can like set that under eye to bring back the color because you know the translucent doesn't have a color, and sometimes it's like pale or like pasty on darker skin. But I find that when you use the actual face powder it'll you know bring the color back without making it ashy and we haven't put our face powder on or anything like that so just be mindful so for this blush i'm gonna use i don't know Juvia's place has been that girl i just i love that she's getting the clout and the time on stage that she deserves everybody well maybe not everybody knows but the girls who know about juvia we know the pigmentation goes crazy because what and I've been seeing the girls. I hope you guys can see me. The lighting like in the viewfinder is not giving. So I'm hoping that it's fraudulent. Um, but anyway, I've been seeing the girls put the blush up here. Like they make a little, oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna make a C and I'm gonna come up here with it. This. That's cute. I like that. It, I like that. Can y'all see? Anyway. Pigmentation goes crazy. I knew it was going to be a one, amazing, but look, we don't be knowing that it's going to be this amazing. And I like blush, so excuse me while I go crazy. It's like borderline giving like highlight. Like in the way that it's done i will say like they've been putting it up here i don't know if they've been putting it like on the inside but i'm gonna do me and you do you <laughs> you don't have to do it like this you can put it in the traditional spot but i don't know i've just been really liking the way they've been putting it in their temple and i'm gonna take this powder brush and kind of just blend it out okay 
so there we go for highlighter we're gonna use our fenty beauty hustler baby me money duo this is an oldie but a goodie one of my favorite highlights you just can't go wrong with it um i'm gonna spray my face i'm gonna use the milani make it last original setting spray okay so we're gonna go with the highlighter i put the so you spray your face and right before it sets, you can go in with the highlight. And it's honestly just gonna enhance it. You could also spray your brush, see that? Whoa! <gasps> ah! You could honestly spray your brush, but I'm like, I ain't about to waste my product on no brush. True, it's already got the product. <laughs> also, if you have bumps, like I don't know if you guys can see that bump next to Robert. Um, I'll call him Rob for short. When you have a bump like that, if you put highlighter on, it's going to enhance the bump. Um, so just be mindful of that. Unfortunately, this bump is right in the highlighting area, so I don't have a choice. But if you have pimples or a breakout of any kind along that, along that area, just know that the highlight is going to enhance it. So if you don't want to put highlighter on, you don't have to. Do what you want to do, girl. That's the beauty about makeup. Where did my sponge go? Please hold. I'm taking it back old school. I like it in a tear duct highlight. I like highlight. I know, like I was saying earlier, the girls from back in the day, we get it. Like, this is who we always, like, this is who we were born to be. <laughs> this is who we were molded to be, you know? Like, the inner tear duct. Excuse me. The inner tear duct, it needs to be highlighted. What is going on? The the cupid's bow. Remember when that was a thing? And then I like Rudolph. He's here to stay. So I like the little exclamation point. That's, you know, he's cute. Hold on. So there's the highlight that we're working with. Nothing major. I feel like this is like, I don't know. I like it. You put your highlight wherever you want to put your highlight. We're going to move on to mascara. I got this one from Ulta. Maybelline New York Last Sensational Sky Lash. I got this from Ulta. It was in like their new section. It says it's supposed to give you length and volume. Which is honestly what the girls want. That's what we want in this world. I remember my other vlog. I don't even know which vlog it was. And I'm not even going to try to act like I know. But I was telling you guys that I like to use two mascaras typically. And if I'm looking crazy, don't, don't judge. <laughs> um, I typically like to use two mascaras, one for the length and one for the volume. And if this one is gonna do both, if this one's gonna save me that time, then I'm for it. I'm gonna try it out with like no lashes, which I have yet to do. Like I said, I just got it like a day or two ago. So we're going to try it out. Uh, I'm going to church tomorrow. So I'll probably do a little like light one too. So we'll test it out like on its own tomorrow. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and I'll like let you guys know. Well, I'll let the girls who already follow me on Instagram know. I'll let you guys know later. But just follow me on Instagram to keep up with like, if you want stuff in like real time. Um, that's always linked down below but yeah this is my scare is supposed to do that and I will say I like what it did I don't know if you guys can tell because I just smoked the lower lash line out a little bit so I'm not sure if you can tell but in person it's it's giving lash like you could definitely see my bottom lashes um but yeah I really wish I could find my sponge because I like to dab <laughs> Thank you, Lord. When I'm done, I like to dab everything in just to further help blend, just to pick up any extra product that may be like hanging out that you didn't even see before. And can we talk about the foundation? That's <sighs> Rihanna. Rihanna. How did you know that you was gonna be the girl? Like, give us tea. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, that girl does no wrong. She does no wrong. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to our lips. For lips, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk Intense 3, three Intense. I got this from Sephora. I was looking for the Rare Beauty liner. I think it's in the shade Strong. Makeup Shayla was um, talking about it on her, what was it, Instagram or TikTok maybe? I don't know. I know it was like a little short film, video, whatever. A short, apparently, is what it's called here on YouTube. And she was saying how like it was like, hold on now. She was saying how that lip liner was really nice and when I swatched it in Sephora, I really loved the, um, like how deep and rich it was. So that's definitely something that I'll be adding to my cart. And it was only $15. I think that is an amazing price point. Like some of this makeup is just really like, is it really that much different? I really don't think so. So when this stuff is just getting crazy, like, holy man, $27 for a lip liner? Me, but still, <laughs> I have a passion for this stuff. The average person, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's why they stick to NYX, because ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang. <laughs> For lips, we're gonna go ahead and use our Maybelline Blushing Beige, shade 915. This is a nude lip. I know that, did that scare you? Don't be scared, girl. You gotta blend it. So there's a lip. When I was on the phone with my friend Kayla, we were talking about how like, you know, consistency is like the main, is the key ingredient to any type of, you know, success that you're trying to have. So that's why I'm trying to, you know, be more consistent with my YouTube. And it's funny because I was literally just watching Kyra's vlog. I know I've been mentioning Kyra and Aaliyah a lot lately, but to be honest, those are the top two youtubers that i watched who really kind of got me into got me to this point in, in terms of like wanting to be consistent in content and like just seeing how much fun they're having and seeing the type of growth that they have been able to like get in such a short amount of time i know Leah has been doing this for a really long time but it is her season honey Leah, have you ever watched this girl i am so i am just so grateful that i found you and i was able to like just see like it's crazy i literally remember watching her vlogs of when she used to work at mac i believe she was still in school she was still in her car like <laughs> she was vlogging in her car like just loud and cussing <laughs> and i remember i was like oh okay okay um and then fast forward i remember her seeing her in like raven elise another amazing youtuber she does more lifestyle now but another amazing youtuber i remember they were in texas and like just to see her to now like psh, there are no excuses there's no reason if there's anything that you want to do out here in this world anything anything i don't care if you want to be an astronaut and you are 45 years old please be an astronaut or die trying whatever you're trying to do do that or die trying you get what i'm saying like you can literally do anything. I am, I'm a child of God. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Uh, he, I don't know what you do over there, but for me and this channel, we gonna praise God, okay? <laughs> so I'm a firm believer that anything is possible because that's what my Heavenly Father told me. So if there's anything that you wanna do, even if you don't believe in my God, okay? If there's anything that you wanna do, please just know that you can do it. Just a backstory. I quit my nine to five. I quit my nine to five to chase my passion of being like a makeup artist and a content creator and everything like that. And I'm still in the thick of it. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. I'm still trying to be consistent. I'm still trying to figure out. You guys, Robert is about to become a mole in 2.5 seconds. I'm about to take my liner and like color him in. Um, I'm still trying to figure this, this thing called life out. Luckily, You too, Rob. When it comes to content creation and makeup, luckily that's like what I love to do. Because when I tell you, if I didn't love this stuff, I would have went back to a nine to five in 2.5 seconds. 
because this is not for the faint of heart this is not easy but what, just a saying that i've been hearing so often is nothing worth having is going to be easy and nobody said it was so whatever you're trying to do just because it's not easy or just just because it doesn't come natural to you does not mean it's not for you you literally just have to train that muscle right now i'm training the discipline muscle and the consistency muscle so that's just something that i'm trying to get um a hold of so i'm just trying to be your motivation that anything that you want to do anything that you're trying to do you can absolutely do it i don't care if it's trying to wake up at six in the morning i don't care if it's trying to not snack at night i don't care if it's just trying to start a business anything that you want to do you can do that thing okay you want to know why because you still have breath in your body that's the only reason why you shouldn't be able, that you should ever say that you can't do something is if you're dead and if you're dead then rp and let's just you know pray for your family to you know feel peace once you leave but clearly you're watching this video so you ain't dead so i don't want to hear no excuses that's the only excuse how she died i'm like well sorry too for, for him that's it if you don't know, I'm a, I don't want to say I'm morbid, but death doesn't scare me. So when I talk about stuff like that, like people be like, oh my God, girl, everybody gonna die. Everybody gonna die one day somehow. Girl, I, girl, don't be scared. You can't be scared. Don't be afraid. Because what's the worst that can happen? You die? You ain't gonna know you dead, poo. The people around you gonna be feeling sad or whatever, but guess what? They're still gonna have to live their life. <laughs> It got dark fast, didn't it? I know, but I'm just being real. I gotta be real, cause it's a lot of fake ish out here. And I gotta be real with you, boo. I have to. Let me go put some earrings on and some stuff and we'll close this out because we're done, honey. We're done, you see the most, period. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new in terms of like maybe the products or just about my taping experience. Or maybe I was just, you know, you learn something just from, you know, the technique or whatever. I don't know. But I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything that you guys want me to get, try out, you know, you need help with anything, make sure you leave it down below. I got you, me, you girl, we in this together. Or boy, hey, boo. Um, but yeah, we're in this together. I don't have anything else to say. Or maybe I do. I thought I had something else to say. But I can't. I am so rusty, you guys. When I tell you I'm so rusty with these tutorials, I'm talking. I can't even formulate my sentence, my thought. I I have been in hiding. Um, <laughs> I was watching a sermon by Sarah Jakes. I'll also leave that down below. But it was like, girl, it's time for you to come out of hiding. So this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to be better with this uh on camera like filming like this because this is what really got me into youtube in the first place so i'm trying to bring the beauty back okay i'm trying to you know get a little one too for the girls we can learn and grow together because look the soft glam is nice and it's very necessary but you want to be able to beat your face you know and this is actually soft glam without the eyeshadow to me the eyeshadow makes it like beat you know when it has like that eyeshadow you beat but if, it's just, if it was just like the face and the lashes, then, you know, that's soft glam. Hold on, I got an itch. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was entertaining for you guys. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything like that, please leave them down below. I just want to leave you guys with a little tidbit that whatever you're trying to do, whatever you want to do, you have the you have more than enough capability you have more than enough resources wherever you are in this moment right now to get it done you have everything that you need okay all you need is the breath in your body and the will and the desire to get it done i cannot wait to see how this channel grows i cannot wait to see you know how many people that we can touch together because it's going to be me and you by you subscribing and liking and sharing and everything like that and i just want to be able to like bring you guys like just an escape from your regular regular life because i know life is crazy okay life be getting ghetto life be trying to jump you in a gang and we don't want to be gang members you know what i'm saying we are just trying to make it through one day at a time <laughs> look one youtube video at a time we just trying to make it through okay so please don't give up don't ever ever 
ever give up okay you got this we got this consistency discipline and just sheer will is what's going to get us through so we're in this journey together i'm so excited to see what happens thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys goodness i didn't even <sighs> you guys put some powder on it has to go. this is my fenty face powder in the same 420 i did not do this and i would highly suggest it if you're oily skin or if you want to bring color back into your face only the girls that stayed after get this i'm gonna put this at the end of the video comment a comment a butterfly if you made it to the end like this end okay because the girls they skipped i'm like a marvel movie baby you gotta skip after the credits i mean you gotta sit through um through the credits to get that real real one too the girls that get it get it but if you ain't a marvel girl you don't get it